We have an interconference affair lined up for you today as the Utah Jazz come in for this one. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve nice Smith game, to my huh? right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. And so off the tip, it's Toronto. Outside Leonard. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Good! Boy, how valuable is Donovan Mitchell? Having him in the fold sets up this team moving forward. Leonard with the ball. Shot clock at six. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. This is where you really see it. The skill set of Kawhi Leonard allows him to beat good defense. Certainly a major strength of this Utah Jazz team is the way they can dominate on the defensive end. Up and down the roster, there are a lot of solid defenders. Rudy Gobert is the big name, but guys like Ingles, Crowder, Mitchell, and Rubio are all great as well. This team can just be suffocating defensively. Pass to Rubio. Here's Favors. And finally they hit one. Favors has got his first basket. You love the effort of Favors. On the glass, he's a scrappy player who comes away with second chance opportunities for his club. Here's Valanciunas. Takes it out to Leonard. From 12 feet out, Gobert pulls it in. He can't find his mojo. Tough quarter for him scoring the basketball. Favors can't get it to go. That's just two tough competitors meeting right at the rim. Someone, in my opinion, had to lose. And Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. Clock at four. Here's Leonard. Over Gobert. And again, Toronto no luck. It's been a frustrating quarter for him shooting the basketball. He just has to make sure he's taking good shots. And that one, good. Toronto trailing. Leonard on the wing. Screen by Valanciunas. And Leonard gets it to go. The decision making of Leonard could have hit the roller, but already had the shot he wanted. Outside Crowder from deep three-point range comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. He's a bona fide star. Kawhi Leonard with the workmanlike approach. And here's Exum. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And this is what he gives you, the ability to contest the shot without foul. Perimeter defense at a premium these days. You see the value in this. One quarter in the been a close. What do you guys think about the Raptors here so far in this one? A huge fan of how they have rotated here defensively, been able to challenge multiple shots. Yeah, it's been the defense that has them out in front. But let's see if they can sustain the intensity. Here's Leonard. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Steve, talk about leadership. Some guys are extremely vocal. Name some guys that prefer to lead by example. They aren't all talk, but watch what I do. Yeah, I, I think it comes out, I, I would say, the first in mind because he, he's never vocal as Kawhi Leonard. Obviously, his play, he leads by example. I think Anthony Davis is another guy that stands out for me. Um, I even look at Kevin Durant. I don't see him as a vocal leader. But I think his game and the way he leads his team by example is one of those guys that can be leaders 
but they can be leaders without being extremely vocal. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Lowry is a player who has worked his way to stardom. He says, I still feel like I can be better. I'm never satisfied. My team is good, but I think the best I can be is a champion. There is no other goal in basketball. Guys? D.A., that's how you truly create a Here's Crowder. Past O'Neal. Makes it off the glass. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Shot is good off the back rim and in. White's got the lead up to four now for Toronto. It really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. You see the defender right there playing physical, trying to impose his will, but Rubio's tough. Pass to on and over. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. There's a good screen. Here's Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. If you're the defense, not much you can do. Donovan Mitchell had his mind made up. Bad intentions. To the inside. Siakam. No stopping him there. Last season, Toronto had a very mixed season, to say the least. Franchise record 59 wins and the top seed in the East. It all came crashing down as they were swept out of the playoffs by the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's Miles on the wing. Thirty-two seconds left now here in the second. And the Raptors miss again. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Here's Ananobi. Those three-pointers off the mark. It's tipped. Mitchell outside. Again, Mitchell missing. Fast break, Toronto. Here's Miles. Doesn't go for him. In a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the... Rubio outside. Mitchell wide open. Mitchell's got the first bucket of the third here for Utah. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Jazz had to weather the loss of Gordon Hayward, so they need to play together to have success. Coach Quinn Snyder said, we expect guys to put the team in front of themselves and support each other. Our believable career, was there any chance or opportunity that you did not take that you wish you had? You know, Kevin, is, is three of them. One, um, I had a chance to be traded to the New York Knicks. I always wondered what it would be like to play in New York. They called that the Mecca. I didn't take that chance. I think second uh, was to get a chance to play overseas at the end of my career. I think those are the two things that I wish I had a chance to go back. I would make a different choice. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and he speaks volumes about his work ethic. Great character and very well spoken. You could tell it was almost. Oh! Yes. yes. Well, we know Leonard's an elite two way machine, but there he shows us the artistry. And it's Mitchell missing. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. And on the defensive side, just a failure to match up. Well, the one thing you want to take away is anything at the rim. Just too easy. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Outside Leonard. Six on the shot clock. And two free throws coming up, unable to get. We've got 155 left in the third quarter. 
And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half. And they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Leonard's got seven points for the quarter. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. Puts up a three. Toronto with the first shot clock. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And here's Leonard from three. To the wing right side. Abaka wide open. He finds. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Sound shot mechanics for Serge. He has confidence shooting it from out there. Oh, what a pass, and then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Leonard from deep, three-point land. And it's Leonard again missing. He just can't get it cranked up from beyond the arc. No threes in this half after just hitting one in the first. Gobert, the screen. There's Exum. And that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. Yeah, that's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Six-second difference between shot and game call. Connects from three-point range. And it's now 22 points for Leonard. Back to O'Neal. And the dunk by O'Neal. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. The defense looks done right now. No hustle or real desire to get stops. And here's Leonard from three. And again, Toronto with the triple. Talented, opportunistic. When Leonard gets hot, it can last for long. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. So they take the lead. Alan Jones has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Toronto. Rubio with it. On the wing, Cephalosha. Gobert the screen. Shot clock at six. The shot from the low post is good. And the Jazz lead by one. I like that play by Joe Ingles. Doesn't have anything he wants. Keeps the ball moving. Makes it off the glass. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. Back to go bear. And slam. Weaknesses for a young player. Well, they should be looking at a three-point lead. Hopefully for them, that miss won't cost them. Screen by Ibaka. Outside Leonard. Screen by Valanciunas. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Valanciunas has got the game tied up here for the Raptors. Huge bucket there from the big Lithuanian. Valanciunas is stepping up. And the shot's good from Crowder. A big shot by Jay Crowder. He's been here before. Understands the importance of momentum. Gobert with the block. Mitchell outside. And Utah, another three. Donovan Mitchell's ready, and he knocked down one of the bigger shots of his game. Pass to Leonard. From deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Leonard's got 28. Can't help but love the way Leonard plays the game. Stone-faced assassin. And here's Lowry, defended by Crowder. Back to Lowry. Right side, Leonard. Gobert with the block. 
You really have to be careful with Gobert lurking around. He'll send it back. And the basket by Rubio. A crucial moment in this game. Rubio unafraid to take it upon himself. And here's Leonard from three. A rebound by the Jams. Okay, when you're trying to make a comeback, you can't be hucking up low percentage threes. You have to find a better shot within the offense. The youngster is not going to buckle or fold. Donovan Mitchell is not afraid of the moment. Outside Leonard. Pass to Ibaka. Connects! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And that could be a big bucket right there. Ibaka doesn't shy away from taking crucial shots. There's 37 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Rubio misses. The game has come down to this. Huge possession. Pass to Valanciunas. And Lowry has it in the corner. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. <laughs> what more can you ask for? Phenomenal here in the clutch. This is what fans tune in to see. And the Jazz call time here. Ridge for report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. This is a close game, as you know, but he sounded extremely confident. He told the players, don't let up now, fellas. This is when we make our move, right now. Kevin? Thank you, David. Yeah, free throws put them in an excellent position to win this thing now. It's all in the hands of the D. Toronto out of time left, which will allow for a really good shot if they run the right play. Ibaka outside. Inside. To take the lead. Buries the triple. He's been there before, played in big moments of big games. Ibaka coming through in the clutch. And the Jazz call time here. Seven seconds left in the fourth. Down low. Gobert. For the win. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And so it's Utah who's scraped by with the win.